Okay, hey everybody, it is Wednesday, December 7th, and you are here at the, uh, what is this, DEI event badging bi-weekly. Minutes are in the chat, and I will share just so we can kind of go over some stuff. It's been a while since we met. It was like a month <laughs> since we've met because of the yeah. US Thanksgiving, so um yeah i hope everybody's doing good um first one is just a reminder and everybody here already knows this because they've heard it so many times already but we'll just put it out there one more time no meetings from december 12th to january 9th um i should say no chaos working group meetings there is an extra auger workshop that's going to happen next monday on the december 12th um, but if we want to keep working um, in this working group, we want to keep working through Slack and async, that's completely fine. I imagine we might get some badges, some badge applications in December. So um, I'll still be around checking. I know Ruth checks also. So, um, so yeah, we'll be around if anybody wants to keep working. Um, the next one is a big, huge thank you to Oma and Demi Lola, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, for our badging wiki that helps uh, um, share kind of just like the history of badging, what it is, why we do it, um, just to have some extra documentation around this in the repo as well. So this is really great initiative. So thank you to those two folks. Um, there's Kingsley. Hi, Kingsley. Hi, Elizabeth. And there's Enoch also. Amazing. Hi, Mud. Um... I pulled all of them here. <laughs> Hi, <everybody. laughs> um, Hi, Anita and Bruce. We were just started, um, so we just want to remind you both um, that there are no meetings from December, no, I should say no working group meetings, official chaos working group meetings from December 12th to January 9th. Um, but we will keep working um, because the badging applications keep coming. So like we'll still be around, um, some of us anyway. So just want to make that clear. And then um, this, we were just looking at this badging wiki as well. Um, I do have a question for Ruth on this. Uh, is this information also going to be on the badging website? And is it going to be the same? Is it going to match? Uh, so I think the idea for an OMA started this document. The idea was to kind of help newcomers understand the difference, um, you know, the history of the badging initiative and then the different methods because I think when Omar um, joined she had like some issues with understanding the metrics like how they um you know apply to real life scenarios so I think that's um what's the reason she puts behind this document to help newcomers get on board it's like events badging and the information that's there is just for events badging so i think this will just leave on that wiki the wiki page um except we want to create a blog post out of it to put on the di badging website but i don't know what do others think yeah that makes a lot of sense um I wonder if we should make, do we say that? We just kind of say welcome. Maybe we could make that clear here in that homepage that, that that is like kind of the purpose of the document, just so we keep it straight internally. Yeah, that's true. I think I would, I would add that as well. Yeah, and I just it can be referenced. So. Also, so, and then my other question was, how does this plug into the community handbook or the knowledge base on that side? Is this the same information or are we just kind of pointing people to the wiki here or the badging website where like, okay, so, oh, okay, Anita says wiki will be a reference doc, okay. Yeah, and it's mainly for reviewers, right? It, 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 it's something that helps reviewers because it doesn't really talk about the process for badging. The the knowledge base, you mean? No, no, the wiki document. Okay. So it will be different. Yeah, it's different. I just don't want us to have like 
um, you know, a, a lot of different. Yeah. So what, so the stuff in the knowledge base about badging, who is that for? Is there something in the knowledge base currently? <laughs> I think I've lost on the knowledge base part. Like when you say um, the stuff in the knowledge base for badging, the handbook yeah the handbook yeah the one we i think from the other meeting the website meeting we had last week we talked about having a one pager for the handbook or so it's not within information that would be there it's just a one page to describe the um vi badge and then link out to the respective document like okay you can also reference like one doesn't like reference back to this one for reviewers to kind of understand okay so for review okay so i'm just thinking like we have other um so anything for a a, a reviewer should go in the wiki is that right mm -hmm. yes okay that should because we already have documentation for badging right which will go in the website okay okay that yes okay perfect, perfect. the idea for the wiki was to help people kind of you know especially for reviewers because omar is a reviewer so that's why she could get that document so awesome okay perfect i just want to make sure that my brain understands the difference <laughs> I'm a little slow today. It is very foggy here in my brain and also outside. So that's perfect. Thank you so much. Does anybody yeah. else have questions or anything about this? So the the handbook is really just a description of the DEI badging. Is that right? Yeah, we have, um, you know, initially we had that whole documentation on the handbook and the conversation we had that day was since it's going to be on the um website the di website we should just have a one page readme that shows everything about badging okay points back to um more information on the website yep. or on the repo right we would still have that content on the repo but the knowledge base will only pull that readme to the site Okay. Did that help, Matt? Yeah, it did. So there's the there is the one pager on the handbook that kind of really just gives a brief overview and kind of points people to mm -hmm. other other pages. One of the places that it would point people to is the wiki, which is about helping um, new badgers. Yep. Yeah. Join the project, and then the mm -hmm. other place it would point would be really to the badging web page itself. Yes, yeah, so the badging web page. Well, since we don't have that yet, it would just point because we still have that folder in the community repo. So it would just point to that folder in the community repo for now. And then when the badging website is up, would point to to the that badging. site. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'm so sorry to keep harping on this. Um, we do have also, and I'm not sure how these fit in, but we have this info for applicants, info re for reviewers, and the info for reviewers, we have like this reviewer guide and um, this uh, has some links down here. Should we just merge these into the wiki? I feel like it, that would make sense. Like we don't need them in two places. Yeah, like just have it on the, this folder on the wiki page yeah yes we definitely don't want it two places yeah okay then we... So we can, yeah we can do that we can have it on the wiki page because i think the structure can you go back to the wiki um yeah that... sure where is that here it is um so we have the history what's di badging why goals and badging flow i think we can keep it after badging flow like review our roles um i think yeah yeah yeah, we can we can sort that out. Okay. Is there can I should I open an issue here? Let's open an issue just so we don't forget. Yeah. And making adding wiki pages is such a pain. It's, 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 it's not the way pull request work. 
this is like a whole different process but yeah you can open the issue and someone can fix it and then in this issue like we would end up removing those markdown files yeah like removing the markdown files from the file structure down to the wiki yep I'm thinking the person might just copy them and then when it's in the wiki, we just delete yep. them. So so then the wiki is really all about helping kind of the 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 process of review and then the badging repository, kind of that front look. If you go back when you finish this issue. So go back to, yeah. So then this is really, this front look will really be all for applicants, really, when it comes down to it. It'll be who we've badged. And then just really just, yeah, taking a look at this. This ends up looking like it's it's really just from an applicant perspective at this point, which is fine. And then the wiki is to help reviewers. Yeah, I'm thinking we can also rename the wiki to reviewers wiki page so that it's more like specific. Yeah. This is for reviewers. Yeah, agreed. I'll, I'll put more information in that issue after the meeting. I just didn't want to like take up time, so. Yeah, thank you so much for that context, Ruth. That's really great work from them. I really appreciate them working on this. I'm kind of pulling it together, especially from a newcomer perspective. That's super, super helpful. So thank you, Oma and Um, Okay, next is the badging website update. Just wanted to double check with Kingsley to see if there is an update. Sorry to put you on the spot here. Same to you, Enoch. After that, I'm gonna do a badging update. So sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, um, I, I think, oh, okay, let me just, I have to be there while I shared my screen. <laughs> um, I, I think we really have um, um, more of the designs for like next year. Um, that's for the budget project. We have more designs ready for implementation next year. Well, at the moment, let me just share what we have on the Do I need to make you a co-host? I never remember. You might. So, sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, do I need to make you, are you able to share? Uh, yes, okay. yes. Okay. Okay, so. Um, So we have, um, of course, we have uh, a few screens ready for implementation and I believe Enoch and his team is working on this. So what we now did was um, trying to, you know, get the design for mobiles. So we have a couple of screens, some of, I think we're actually done with some, but then um, I, of course, I had my own review feedback as to trying to make things more um, for example, screens like this actually look so long. So my issue was like, um, are there options we could explore to reduce the, the scrolling time? So for the design, this design is done, but I think I just had some issues with usability. I feel like user will spend so much time scrolling through and since it's really not like the desktop view and that will really be a pain point. So I think it's more of a usability issue. So that's why we still have these pages here. So we have the screen for the mobile screen for to view the badge event. So um, this is actually what we have for desktop view. And this is the experience we're creating for the mobile view to kind of make it more adaptive. And so um, I think same thing goes with so some of the screens, like I said, most are actually like 
regards to the ones ready for implementation. Some of these mobile screens are ready, but I'm just looking at ways we could actually improve usability. And of course, I believe we all agree with me that, <laughs> you know, visiting a site like this where you have to scroll through all this is like damn too long. And so uh, maybe when I'm able to figure that out, then I'll push, I'll push these particular designs to implementation and all that. And, you know, kind of team can also consider working on the mobile view. But for now, I had a brief call with the design team at before this call, you know, and um, I think we talked about some of these. And um, I don't know, maybe some of them I want to do some stuff with in the detail, but then I think they're also aware that chaos is going on break. So I think we have more screens to share when we are back from break. So that's actually so far. And of course, um, one of the things that's actually been going on inside is actually the design system. And we just keep building this. It's still part of the project. You know, we keep building this, keeps getting bigger and bigger in the old vision and very similar to any joining community. So that's the feedback I have now. I don't know if you have questions or um, um, we have suggestions and, and all that, especially for the mobile view, like I said, uh, uh, really looking at some um, ways we could make this, you know, maybe shorter and simpler. So I really appreciate any feedback or comment or solutions we have on this. Thank you. I think this looks amazing, amazing, and such great work from the whole team. I'm just so um, grateful for all those who are working on this project, and just it's just wonderful. I, like I can't wait; it's going to be so great. Um, I, my Thank only suggestion so might be, uh, you're welcome. But like my only <laughs> suggestion might be is if there's a way to pull some of that information out and just put it in a separate page. I don't know um, how you feel about that, um, or like how flat you want the website to be or if it's okay to have a bunch of different pages and clicking in and out i don't i don't know like i'm not definitely not a usability expert uh, but i do agree that it does look kind of long to scroll all the way down so yeah okay. and then my um my second just statement is that um if uh, hopefully you all have everything you need from like a just a logistical implementation standpoint a technical standpoint like if you need accounts or like I don't whatever you need just let me know and I, I think Ruth had been trying to reach out to me too but like just let let me know let me or Matt know and we can provide whatever kind of support you all need oh okay that's great I, I think in terms of uh, implementation I think you know probably one of those opposition to you maybe uh, but I'm not sure at the moment Nothing yeah exactly uh, so in terms of implementation, um, we recently, like, we started the work some months ago, Enoch set up, like, and I'll soon hand this over to Enoch. Uh, but Enoch said, like, the, the structure of the work, and to some extent, we stopped, uh, and then we are back again. Uh, I just dropped the link to the, the hosting page. Initially, we had it on Heroku, but... Since Heroku stopped their free plan, we had to move to Netlify. So this link shows the work that has been done so far, which I have not seen, and I'm just looking at it now. Um, so Enoch, yeah, you can take it from here. Over to Enoch. Time to shine. <laughs> How does that look like? I have not seen it too. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I just opened your right now. Yeah. Let me share hey my guys, screen. Uh, it's been a long time and almost forgotten about it. <laughs> just share. I want to see how it looks like because I have been making a lot of changes since yesterday night. Yeah. Can you see my screen? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can see it. I can see it. All right. Um, um I, I can I can I can okay. see, but I know it's definitely not optimized for your desktop rules. <laughs> In, impressive, <laughs> impressive. <laughs> okay. Um uh, yeah, kind of looks like is Ruth trying to do something? 
yeah, it's my screen that is making it look like this. It's so small. It's not optimized for this. No, not your screen. It's not really optimized yet. Should work. <laughs> um, I think um, there, there are no limits to the widget size, so that's why it's like that. But um, it can't be a problem with your screen. Um, so on top of what Ruth is trying to share, I've been trying to, like she was saying, we have resumed our contribution. And um, I'm happy that when changes are made, this link updates straight away. I deleted um, the Heroku deployment because um, we no longer had access to it. And um, we have a new person who is helping me out to manage um, this development. Um, he requested I call him TK because the other name was a little bit um, confused to, to, to mention out in full. But um, right now I'm, ha I, I'm doing some rebasing which is the hardest thing in um, using JIT because yeah. I have three four requests I want to merge together, but they have almost 20 files that have been changed with more than like 30 lines of code, 50 lines of code. But um, hopefully before tonight ends, I'll be able to have resolved all those into one single file because I'm, um, there are over like um, 30 commits that I'm looking into and they're from different requests. Um, <clears throat> by the time that is done, we should be able to have our about page looking almost like how it is in the Figma files at least. And then plus um, the home page. Um, and then I am going to make some more issues, new issues, because after this um, rebasing and merging the three pull requests into one single file, of course, there are issues that I have already realized that uh, need to be worked on and also that um, some contributors can contribute to, to optimize this page and also add onto the UI to make it look like the Figma file. So um, before the call, actually, Ruth just slacked me. I had forgotten about this meeting. I was fighting with all those commits and the changes to make sure that um, they look so pretty well <clears throat> and to standard. Um, otherwise, if you can have a look at, um, I don't know, my page, my page is a little bit pretty. Ruth, if you can just stop okay, sharing. Let me like, stop uh, share. <laughs> yeah, thank um, you. Elizabeth, could you give me some words? A few of them. <laughs> Just a few. That's all you get. Yes, of course. Hang on one sec. Uh, where are you? Let me find you. Okay. A co-host, is that enough? <laughs> that's really okay. that's as good as it okay. gets. So okay. I don't have anything else. <laughs> that's enough. Thank you. I am trying to check. Now that's enough. I can do what I want to. Uh, okay. Um, um, I wanted to show this. Oh, it's taking long. Uh, just showed up. Um, all right, it's loading. I, I want to show you how that looks like um, here. So if you can see from the screen, it is um, a little bit not optimized, which is not a problem. It's the problem of the code. But um, from my screen, it looks pretty because I think whoever developed this was using a similar screen size to mine. Um, there are three changes that are not yet here. So I think this looks pretty like what is in Figma. Um, down here, there is something you see down here. It has a footer. Is missing. Yeah. yeah, that footer is already there, but it's in a different pull request. So after rebasing, okay. that footer will show up. Okay. 
And um, if I can just try to reload this, I'm loading this actually from localhost because I am making the changes from there. Um, you can't be able to see it when you are, I've, I've not yet pushed the changes, but if I run that from my machine here and show you how that footer looks like, it's not the best. I'm not saying it's not, the, but I'm like, it's not like how it is on the Figma files, but hopefully um, we are going to see how that changes. So let me just reload this from a different, um, from a different file and see how it looks like. So this is another pull request that I'm trying to merge with the other one. So this is how the footer looks like <laughs> from um, another pull request. So um, a lot, some changes have to be made. Like I can't see, I don't know whether this is the right font and also um, the mobile, the mobile okay. view is not the best. Oh, I can't scroll this. Yeah, I oh. think the font is the right font. Using oh. Opinx, right? I hope they are. I'm, <laughs> I'm using my eyes to guess. So I'm not mm -hmm. sure. So um, um, there are a few changes that will need to be made, but I want to make these changes up. I want to put these changes up, then um, make and, and uh, compare them against the Figma files, see what needs to be changed, create issues for them, and then you can have all these issues optimized as soon as possible. Otherwise, um, uh, there is, I think there will be progress and um, this would be done if, uh, if um, we have the response that we had at the beginning of this, of this um, contribution, I'm sure by the end of January, this won't, this won't be an issue. We shall have our site up and running. So yeah, that's it. Amazing, amazing work. So you're saying by the end of January is your kind of goal to, to launch this new site? Is that right? Did I hear you say that? if the response of the developers is like the way it was when we're just starting then uh, i am definitely sure you will have it okay awesome and then at that point yeah. folks will be able to actually apply on that new site um oh i mean i mean like um uh, not for the application but the interface or the ui we okay. could have um, a little bit of delay into plugging into the application, but um, the UI, the static, um, the static views will be ready. Okay, perfect. Yeah, sure. And I think Matt had a question about what the URL is going to be. Yeah, I have kind of two two questions, kind of just in terms of deployment, but you can answer that first one. Or what you hope the URL could be. Uh, sure, that is. Um, I was yeah. hoping I'll cross the river when I reach there. So something I've not yet thought of. Okay. If you yeah. um, if you want it to be a subdomain of chaos community, you, you're, I, we haven't done that. I don't think in the chaos project, and that may or may not be possible. We can certainly put the request in, but I'm not sure where the request will, how, how the request will be received. No, go ahead, Sean. I have put a request in, and um, I think when we were testing the changeover, they did one for us, but then I had one get lost in a transition. So I think they've done it for us before when we were testing the new site. They created like test.chaos.community for us. Hmm. Also that, also that, but, but that's the one that uh, got lost in translation or transition. <clears throat> so in okay, other words, I, the results are varied. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I think, I think that now our pro, our process is just a regular help desk ticket, but. Which, yeah, so I'm not, we can try, but I would not put a lot of faith in that approach. And so the okay. better approach might be to just simply have it as a like Elizabeth something that's managed potentially through WordPress just as its own as its own page 
And then the the other option is just to have it completely be its own website. Like we just get a, a new domain called like, you know, chaos DEI event badging. You know what I mean? And we just go out to something like that and it's just hosted somewhere completely else. I don't I don't want to necessarily speak for the the team, but um I feel like the reason <coughs> the reasons moving away from WordPress is because it's kind of limited in as far as the the application process. So mm -hmm. if it was its own site, we would have a lot more, I think, flexibility and freedom to like totally do fine. the code to make it do magic. That's totally fine. <laughs> but is that is that a fair statement, Enoch? Would you would you agree with that? And Enoch, you're still um, your um, screen, by the way, if you're you're still sharing oh. your screen. <laughs> Just FYI. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Um, um I I I'm it's not really something I thought of first, but I when Matt mentioned it, I think um could be cool having budging.chaos.community than having really a separate um platform. Um earlier on we thought it would be an independent platform because um we wanted to have project budging on it and we thought it was going to expand beyond um what we had originally, but looks like um, we won't go beyond what we already have. And um, there'll just be improvement and iteration. So um, if we can have that subdomain, I think it would be it would be a good thing to do because then it also even feels like, yeah, this is part of chaos too. It's not like um, uh, a separate, um, a separate- I can, um, I'll put the ticket in, Enoch, I'll try. And so we'll just, yeah, we'll see yeah. how that works. Sure, and, and 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 if it works out really, and we can have access to the subdomain, um, we could get start using it straight away. Okay, and then the other question yeah. I have is Elizabeth, if you go to the minutes, if you could share your screen. Uh, okay. Um. So, like, if you click on like how, um, scroll down a little bit. Mm, where did I put it? I guess it's just that bad. Oh, how, yeah, yeah, that how to connect with this. And so right now on the website redesign, we have this is it. You're looking at the most most updated web page right now or website. And so badging has its own link at the top. It's not there's no sub whatever thing. So if you just click on badging, it takes you directly to this page. And so the question would be, when we click on badging, mm. where do we want that to go? Would it be this potentially new subdomain? Okay. Would it be just a, a very high level overview page that has links to other places? You know, it's just something to think about as well. But right now, this is where it goes. I feel like the uh, intent anyway is to have that application page eventually be on this page be on the new website but that's that's the piece that's going to be tricky to to plug in because that's the thing that does all the work <laughs> that has like interactive stuff so um, to your point Matt we maybe want to think about a bridge or like a stopgap of like when, until this is ready like where do we point yeah yeah and i mean we could have like if you go back to that website this one mm -hmm. yeah i mean that badging the bet the link at the top about community events metric software badging mm -hmm. I mean, that could just point to just point to badging.chaos yeah it's a different <clears throat> yeah Okay, so that is something that we need to think about. And I, I would recommend like the fewer, the fewer obviously clicks that we can have, the better. Yeah. Like, as opposed to like sending somebody to a two paragraph page that ultimately they have to click something else <laughs> that sends them to the page we actually want them to get to. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So maybe we just keep it pointing to the application until the 
the whole website is ready with the application and everything. Mm -hmm. Kingsley, right. Enoch, what do you think about that? I can hear me. Okay. You know, go ahead. Oh, you can hear Enoch, me. you're hard to hear right now. Thank you, far from your mic or something. Maybe get closer to your mic. Um, what about now? Yeah, a little bit better. Yeah, so if, just go ahead, Well, It's soft, but do your best. I, uh, I got interrupted with the network. Someone was trying to reach me from another platform. I, I was saying, I think, I don't know how we can um, do that, but I'm seeing that budging, um, that budging page could be really redundant. We could have that redirect directly to the budging website when it is up because the information that is that that I'm seeing in the budging page on the chaos website on the chaos um, website is um, almost the same and more <coughs> will be in the in the in the budging in the budging website. So I just think to yeah. reduce redundancy, we could have it just redirect to the budging website when it's up and running. Okay, I, I so, agree. Though the UI, I don't know, the UX of that, <laughs> Kingsley could um, advise having um, <clears throat> budging there and then um, it's linking to the subdomain. I don't know the UX of that, but at least I think um, we can go away with that page. Kingsley can advise on the user experience. Okay, thank you, uh, Enoch. You're right that the information we have uh, was similar information. And I think we have actually have more on the budging um, websites like currently being developed, if I'm not wrong. So um, I think as, as long as it's like a subdomain to, of course, the Chaos websites, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with kind of like redirecting for now. Except maybe just throw user into a completely strange environment, then maybe that's where you have an issue. So, um, uh, yes. but, but the, sorry. Oh, as a documentation best practice, try not to direct people away from a website. Every click they make is going yeah. to give them the opportunity to make another tab and forget what they were doing when they go grab a cup of coffee, close the tabs and never come back. Leave it all okay. on the same page. Okay, and just in addition before, yeah, thank you for that. Uh, That's also link, like- Link brilliant. to a spot on the page that scrolls them down the page. Don't link to a different page. Um, like, okay, but- um, can I, can I, can I make a comment? Hello? 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 Um, okay, so um, that's great. And I also wanted to add that if at all you are redirecting, then there should be a, like an action, so a call to action that will take user, like, Immediately back to where they are coming from because now, if you look at this, the I think the action the user is supposed to take now maybe apply for a badge, and then of course, you we are redirecting user to this page where maybe just come to know about and all that. So, how do they go back? So, maybe I think it's just something you just have to look at to and maybe just make that decision if there's any yeah. need to redirect or completely disconnect it from here and use that so, just. Remain on where they are, just like Katie, uh, Katie, this. The, the suggestion within documentation for a best practice is that you give the user all the information they need on a page before you direct them away from it. So if they are going to go away to the, to the um, submit your event badge page, make sure that everything they need on this page can be read and does not need to be they don't have to come back to this page and then go back to the badging page again. So if they need to reference information, just make sure it's on the same page. Yeah, I think it is. 
I think it's, I think that's what they're saying is that the badging website will actually have more information than this page. Okay. But just the, the question is like the actual application of like where they fill that in. Is that going to be ready on the new site? So yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. As long as you have to submit a badge at the bottom of this page after they read the information so they don't have to come back to it, you should be good. Yeah. And then Ruth has had her hand up forever. So <laughs> go ahead, Ruth. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I think we should maintain this page. <coughs> we talked about the documentation. We can have um, that whole summary, and then we link them back, like on this page, to the to the um, upcoming, like the websites. And something else, why we also need to maintain this page is that we also do not have um, it figured out about how we'll do it on the badging website. Like the application process so we should when when we have that figured out we can just have like a summary of dei um badging on this page and then we link people back like this is to get more information and to apply <clears throat> to the main badging website when that is up and running so i think we should still maintain this page because then it's part of chaos so especially so they don't leave what they were looking for and then navigate to another mm -hmm. website sounds good um, we have about 15 minutes left, so um, let's go ahead and we have to, uh, a few other things to talk about, so I'm going to move forward. Um, you know, is there anything about the badging bot itself that you want to share? I want to give you space. To... If not, that's completely fine. Yeah, it's completely fine that I have something to share. <laughs> um, I, 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 I was having... Um, issues with the previous reviewers because some of them did have rights to edit checklists and it was bothering us until we found out where the issue was so in that um line i was trying to see how we can um try to automate that so that um the people that become reviewers can automatically have uh, rights to edit the checklists um, which helps to reduce our change to our errors in the logs, so that um, so that um, we only mind about the things that are really very very important to look at. Um, I was discussing with Ruth, and I told uh, if I if I was coming up with something, which I want to share here and see how plausible that looks like to you all so i i was i told ruth that we could come up with um something like this and then i'm um, link it somewhere in our in our in our pages or in our chats with the reviewers for now until the budging website is up so like um a github form and this is not on the on the real repository. It's on my repository, the one I used for testing. So I I had I, I had made um, a GitHub form that is um like um, a review application form, <coughs> which only asks for the name and the Slack name. And then on clicking submit, um, I thought that this form would automatically trigger um, the the budging bot to add. The reviewer to the to the review team, which automatically gives you some rights to the events and diversity inclusion repository, so that you can be able to edit um, to edit and um, and um, <clears throat> and submit like um, reviews on the checklist. Then also, it it um, it will using your Slack name add you to any badging um, badging um, channel in the Slack channel. Um, that is something I'm still developing. So far, at least I'm done with the automation of automatically adding the reviewers <coughs> to, the check to the review team in GitHub. The only thing I'm still now figuring out is how to use their Slack name and be able to identify whether they're ready in the badging um, channels. Um, 
the, the documentations of the Slack API are a little bit obscure and they are giving me a little bit of headache. So I'm still trying to figure that out. So once that is done, I want to introduce it fully to you all and see how that looks like. But um, I'm thinking if it takes long and um, the, the budging website may precede its importance and um, we may not get its, uh, we may not, we may not get to use it. But um, if it happens before the budging website is anywhere, I am thinking it will be something we would use and always um, point new reviewers here so that when they fill in this form um, on submitting this new issue, it automatically does all the other magic it needs to do by giving them access to all the information in the budging, um, in, on, on the budging repository and in the budging channels. I don't know whether that was a lot of information. It was a lot of information, but it was a lot of good information. So thank you so much. I love that idea. I love it. We could even, yeah, so for, I, I was for, just gonna for, say, we could even add that as a, as a um, check. So when a new Badger joins, that we have all <coughs> the things that um, yeah. they go through. And so we could add this uh, to, to that, if that would be helpful, Enoch. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't quite get that. Um, so like when we have a new reviewer, we give them a checklist of things that they have to do um, to- Yeah, 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 yeah. We can yeah, add and, this, and, when it's ready, we can add this to the list. And um, if, if you can say, I tried it out, I made a sample, uh, just a sample test, a test to see how that works out. <laughs> And um, if you see um, when I made one, one application, just a test application, it brought me this. This is like an MD file that has links to a reviewer guide, reviewer role, submission guidelines. Um, there is another one I thought, um, there were two that I made. Oh yeah, um, um, then it adds um, just uh, a label. This label is just to, 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 to help to sieve out the, the issues to know that this is um this is a review application issue or this is um a, a, a reviewer I mean like um, a review for an event um, but I hope this is the checklist you're trying to say which points reviewers to different um resources they can have access to. So um, it's, it's not it's not like a checklist, but um, it um, uh, it's like um, a, a comment that has links to where reviewers can find more information if they want to get acquainted with how yeah. the review process is. And ultimately, this could point just to so the this is the that we talked awesome. about earlier. Uh, yeah. Kind of, yeah. So this is the doc that we give to new reviewers. Um, it's a checklist for them. For we call it next steps. And that new Badger info form, Enoch, maybe we could combine that somehow with um, what you're doing, although the signal information would be private, so we probably wouldn't want to put that in there, but maybe we can think about how to combine those two documents for our next steps. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, I, I, th I think it would be good to look into it. right now. What I'm trying to solve is the functionality. Then I can look into the content, the content later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <coughs> but, but, but I think it would be good to look into and know what is missing and what needs to be updated and what is relevant to the reviewers. So I yeah, know we're really great. Sorry. Yeah, no, I, I think it looks great. <coughs> I, know I know we're at time. Um, but I was thinking maybe something to think about is on the website, this is connecting back to the website work, is having like a link that says something like um, explore, explore our badging bot to know how this process works. It's just about being fully uh, transparent. I got you. About what is? I'm waiting for Ruth to sort out her network. And that's not me. I think someone is. <clears throat> oh, muted. 
<laughs> you all have the same voice. So I somebody, voice somebody thought they were muted, perhaps. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. And and then that whole confusion made me lose track of my expression. <laughs> Just so the idea here is that you you've all been putting a lot of work into the badging bot. Uh huh. And the badging bot is critically important as to how the whole review process works, like how yeah. reviewers are assigned, how we notify people, how badges yeah. are issued, like just everything. And I'm wondering if right now the badging bot is kind of just embedded in the, mm -hmm. it's just kind of embedded in um, like how the work gets done. And it's not super transparent for people, um, okay. So I was wondering if we might want to try to raise the badging bots profile a little bit. You know what I mean? Like on the website, just saying, hey, you know, a lot of this is automated. Um, and if you want to investigate how the badging bot works, you can take a look here. And this would just be for like applicants or reviewers. I don't think that anybody would necessarily spend a lot of time looking at it, but it might just be nice to to draw that work forward a little bit. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, um amazing. Yeah. Uh, I am. I am. I don't know who's. Um, I just feel like someone is trying to say something. Oh, okay. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm making more improvements in the budging board for now because in the end we're going to use it as um, it's going to be a layer that is going to be on top of the budging website. Um, some things may be hidden from um the reviewers and also the applicants. But in the background, what is here gives us like a framework that we are going to use while we are trying to, while we are trying to join the budging website oh, with right. the automation that may be needed. Yeah, no, I, I totally get that. And I'm just, mm -hmm. all I'm trying to get at, and maybe somebody can help me say it a little better, is that the badging bot, like, it's just critically important for how this process works. And if we could just really highlight like a link to the github repository if anybody is curious just because this is dei related work and people might have an interest in any of the automation work that's occurring in a dei process okay. so i understand that it exists in the back i'm just maybe okay. this is, maybe it's not that important of a comment but um I, to 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 answer your other understanding of um, your question I do not know how much more, like um, how 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 which process currently needs to be like um, um, be open, because as far as I know, our readme kind of highlights all the automation process that really the bot the, the the bot does, and um, Ruth also was trying to make sure that the documentation and um the wikis and all the documents she's working with really highlight um, what the budget board does, um, the process that um, every review goes through. Okay, so well, that, that's great. I think there is um, already information for that. Could be hidden or not. I don't know how accessible it is, but of course, when you come to the budget board and look at the readme, there is already information of what the, the flow of how that automation happens. Uh, okay. Anything more than that that needs to be really clarified onto the automation process, I think we can have that conversation later. But I think so far the information that is there is just basic enough for someone to have a view of what happens. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, Elizabeth, I'm. I'm done. <laughs> okay, you're still sharing though. There you go. Yeah, I want to stop. Okay. <laughs> I think we're about yeah. out of time. Um, thank you everybody for coming. And just a reminder, our next meeting is not until January something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah Elizabeth. I thought you were going to share that we're almost approaching 100 applications. Like I was. Yeah, we are out of time, but yes, um, I'll just share really quick. Just so we, oops, now oh, I lost my tab here. Hold on. Um, yes, we're at 94 applications, which is from my just manual counting. So hopefully I counted right. 
Um, but we are, yeah. So I don't know if we want to do something special around, a, like if we get to a hundred, I don't know. Or do we want to tweet it? Do we want to do anything? Or we want to wait till we hit definitely tweet it out and LinkedIn and whatever. Okay. 100%. Okay. I'll we'll do that. Okay. Yeah, we can make a design. Oh, yeah. yeah, that would be awesome. Cool design. Do we, so wait, do we want to tweet it out now that we're almost at 100 or do we want to wait until we hit Okay, okay, that's what I wanted to clarify. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I know. But yeah, Kingsley, if you want to have someone working on like just some kind of um, graphic that we can use, that would be awesome. That would be so cool. Sure. I'll get the information <coughs> I need from Bruce, then I think we can look into that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. I think we're done.